Well, Ruff, Ruffman, show! With Blossom and Chet. Yeah! When your hammer is a ham, when your project's in a jam, Arf, ask Ruff first. Ask Ruff first. Oh, hi. Our question today is from Natasha and Sophie, who ask... Hi, hi Ruff. This is our hamster, Gigi. Oh, hello, Gigi. We're pretty sure she's bored. Do you have any tips for adding some excitement to her life? Hmm, well, Gigi does look a little bored. Get up! Challenge yourself, buddy! You know, this reminds me of the time years ago when I decided to take it to the limit and compete in the worldwide dog cathalon. <laughs> oh. But as I was training for the 100-meter fetch, it was clear that I needed to get more physically fit. So I built an obstacle course. Huh. All right. Let's do this. Da -da -da -da. You gotta go all the way. Gotta check. Oh. Uh. I'm young, good, no bad, worse. Uh, uh, uh. It was awesome. The only problem was... Whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't figure out how to build the sky bridge without it falling down. So instead of winning the gold, or even the silver, I won the squeaky snail dog toy. Which is fine, but I already have one. An obstacle course. That's a great idea, Ruff. And we'll try to make that sky bridge work, too. Well, that's so exciting! Um, I sketched out my plan for the sky bridge. Chet is sending it to you now. So, Ruff sent us his design for the hamster sky bridge. It has some spheres and a platform. I don't think it's gonna work, no, though. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> let's just try it anyways. So let's just put down some spheres. All right, spheres! I think that before we put Gigi on here, we should use a test hamster. Wow, that is a lifelike test hamster. Whoa! It didn't, it didn't work. work. You were right. Yeah, my sky bridge did fall over a lot now that you mention it. But how can you fix that? Ruff, these spheres are keeping your bridge from being stable. They're making it move all over the place. Oh. Some objects are easier to stack, like cubes. Because they're flat on all sides means that you can stack it and it'll stay put. Oh, there you go. That's a lot more stable. This has flat sides, and you can rest other shapes with flat sides on top of them. Where you put the support counts, too. If you don't have support on both sides, your bridge will tip. Starting to make sense. Ta-da! That is a nice, sturdy sky bridge. All right, now let's build our obstacle course. So we're going to need to build a ramp to the sky bridge so that Gigi can get up. A ramp? Good idea. OK, so we're going to put a gate around our obstacle course so Gigi doesn't get out. Okay, Gigi, let's see what you got. There goes Gigi. <laughs> Hopping over stuff. Going through uh. the tube. Yes, made it to the sky bridge. Nice and stable, Ruff. Very stable. Oh, she loves it. Gigi's moving around the track. Over some blocks, over that thing, jumping around. And look. She doesn't look bored at all. She loves the obstacle course. Thanks, Ra. Success! Congratulations! And happy training, Gigi! If you win the hamster cathalon, you let us know. Don't touch the camera, please. Get off the camera. The Ruff Ruffman Show! Yeah! You can also watch full episodes and play Ruff Ruffman games anytime on the PBS Kids Video and Games apps.